Okay, now finally we have a much more involved problem. And I've been debating whether or not to go back to basics on this one. Remember when numbers are grouped, they're one thing. So this thing in here is being subtracted. Right, there it is. In fact, what this problem says is negative 3p plus 7 equals 6 minus 10p plus 4. And somehow or other I got that all marked up and I didn't mean to. Well, anyway, let's move along. Negative 3p is minus 3, uh-uh, uh, it's minus p minus p minus p plus the number 7 equals the number 6 minus the thing in parentheses, and what the thing in parentheses is, is p plus p plus p plus p plus p plus p, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus p plus p plus p plus p plus 4. Let's make sure I got that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 4. Yes. All right, that's what this says. Negative 3p is negative p minus p minus p plus 7. There's the plus 7. Plus 7 equals 6 minus this whole thing. Right there. Now, if I'm going to take away... Here's the minus sign. If I'm going to take away the 10 p's and the 4, I'd better start doing it. So I'm going to rewrite my left-hand side of the equation because I'm not going to deal with it right now. Now I'm going to take away all of the stuff in the circle. So minus p, minus p, minus p, minus p, Oops, minus p, minus p, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus p, minus, that's a minus sign, p, minus p, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, minus p, minus 4. So that's what we have right now. We have minus p minus p minus p plus 7 equals 6 minus p 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 minus 4. Oh Lord. Okay, well we've got all these p's and we've got numbers and notice, well look, let's not get real fancy. Let us Add these 10 P's over to this side. Okay? So, I will have... Is that the best way to do it? Yeah, it is. Because I want the biggest number of P's to be positive. So, I'm going to add all 10 P's. I'm going to say plus P, plus P, plus P, plus P plus p, plus p. Now notice that when I added p to p, I got a 0 here, I got a 0 here, I got a 0 here, because minus p plus p is 0, minus p plus p is 0, minus p plus p is 0, and the same over here. Minus p plus p is 0, minus p plus p is 0, and minus p plus p is 0. 
Okay, so let's just take a breather for a minute. I'll have 7 equals <clears throat> 6. Let me, let me move the minus. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. That's cheating. All right, how many do I have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll take away 7 P's minus P 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 minus 4. I've got all these minus P's. If I add all 7 of these P's to both sides of the equation, that'll make them positive and they'll be a little easier to understand. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a P and add a P. And I'm going to add a P and add a P. And I'm going to add a P and add a P. And I'm going to add a P and add a P. And I'm going to add a P and add a P. And I'm going to have to add a P and add a P because I ran out of room. I can't just stay in a straight line. And add a P and add a P. All right. So now all the P's over here have zeroed out. This is zero. This is zero. This is zero. This is zero. This is zero, this is zero, this is zero. So zero, 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 zero. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is just zero. So what I'm going to have on the right side of the equation is six plus zero minus four. Over here, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven P's. So I'm going to have to write small. P plus P plus P plus P plus P plus P plus P. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And then plus the number seven. Now, it's still, I, I, I have to get all my pure numbers together. This 7 over here is really messing me up. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equation so that now these 7s, 7 minus 7 is 0. So I'm left with my 7 P's over here, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So easy to lose count. Meanwhile, over here, six minus four is two, and two minus seven, if you put two minus seven in your calculator, you'll get negative five. Now, there is no way that this can be done using the basics. I guess it could. If you can take negative 5 and divide it up into 7 pieces, but that would be so hard. So we are going to have to shift away, all right, from doing things by the basic rules and just say that since there are 7 Ps here, 7 P's, that's 7 P equals negative 5. And then in order to divide 5 into these 7 pieces, I'm going to have to divide negative 5 by 7 so that each piece is going to have negative 5 sevenths in it. Now, if you were to go back here, because that's what P equals now, 
p equals negative 5 sevenths. If you were to go back here and add negative 5 sevenths here and here and here and here and here and here and here, you would find out that that all together equals negative 5. See, eventually we have to get away from the basics and start creating shortcuts or we actually can do one problem for so long we run out of room. And that's the reason that the addition rules of equality and the multiplication rules of equality were all invented so that one problem would not take this much time and this much space. Okay, so from now on, we're just going to work problems in the regular way. This is your teacher, Barb Rad, and I'll talk to you later.